Hello, my hungry friends. My name is Anna. In 2001, I moved to America from my hometown of Szczecin, Poland, to be with the love of my life, Mark. While living in the US, I realized that I wanted to share my passion for Polish cuisine with America and the world. So finally, in 2015, I started a Polish food blog. After my husband retired from the army, we decided to start a new adventure in my native home. We spend our time showing the world the wonders of Polish cooking in our kitchen, and sometimes we shut down our kitchen and explore Poland together to find as much good food as we can. Welcome to Polish Kitchen. Hello, my hungry friends. This is Anna and this is Polish Kitchen. And since Easter is just around the corner, I'm cooking out of my Polish Kitchen, uh, a Book of Memories Easter edition cookbook. And today we're making a very popular dish that is pork stuffed with prunes. And this dish we uh, would normally make once or twice a year, but especially for Easter. Oh, that's our doggy. And it's a super simple dish. This is actually a cold cut that uh, we're going to be serving during our Easter uh, celebrations. And since Easter uh, goes over two days in Poland, we have Easter Sunday, Easter Monday, there'll be plenty of opportunities to eat it. So I have a gorgeous pork loin here. And this is uh, a loin, not a tenderloin, so it will be the, the fatter one. And what we're going to do, we're going to drill a hole right through the drill. Not, we're not drilling. <laughs> <laughs> this is not excavation or anything. We're going to make a hole in the loin, and then we're going to stuff it with prunes. Meat, meat spelunking. There you go. Spelunking. Yeah. yeah. So I have this nice uh, thin and sharp knife. Um, uh, if it was a little bit thicker, it would work as well. But I like using this one. And what we're going to do is just kind of find a center and can you see? Yep. And push this knife through till it goes out the other end. And I'm going to make it the other way as well just so my hole is just a little bit wider. So if you're using a, a bigger knife, that would be okay. And there's our hole, and that's, and that's all we need. Mm -hmm. And our, our loin is prepared. So this is super quick. You can start your engines, and by that I mean turn your ovens on to 180 Celsius, 360 Fahrenheit, because we're almost ready to bake. And so to our tenderloin, I'm going to put, I'm going to smear a bunch of garlic. I have six cloves crushed here. I'm going to add... Uh, some salt, about two teaspoons. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. I just ground it into my dish here. You can adjust the pepper, obviously, if you don't like it too spicy. And one of Poland's favorite uh, herb, marjoram. Marjoram? This, this is dried marjoram. I'm going to do about a tablespoon. And I'm also going to do ground thyme, and this is not the chunky uh, <laughs> herbs, this is uh, ground up thyme. I'm going to do about a teaspoon. And that's all of our spices. I'm going to just mix this together. You can do this in pestle and mortar as well. And I'm going to put a little bit, probably a couple tablespoons or a couple teaspoons on top of my um, prunes and then just so I can infuse a little bit of the flavor into the inside of my pork. Now what we're going to do is just kind of violently oh. shove, the, <laughs> shove the prunes into our hole. All the way down. Stop if, being. If you're a pro proctologist, this looks familiar. Stop thinking things. <laughs> and sometimes you can go from the other end because we want those prunes to be all the way through our loin. And if it's a little bit bigger or longer, I guess it can fit a little bit more in there. Just pack it in. Just pack it in as tight as, as you yep, can. Huh? As, as best as you can to make it to 
look like in my book. So there's uh, meat around it and prunes in a nice big circle. You know, I've seen this obviously every Easter, but I never... Never, never seen was, it made? I never saw it made. I guess I don't pay attention see, so well. But no. it's, it's hilarious and entertaining. So. It's, and now it looks nice like this. And then I'm going to take... And it got kind of... I'm not going to say words now because you're going to be <laughs> ridiculous about I'll stop, it. I'll stop. So, so then we're going to take the rest of our spice mix and just kind of rub it around. Oh, I can smell the herbs and they're going to infuse nice flavors into our pork loin. Yeah, I was saying how good that garlic smelled earlier today. Yeah. Nice, fresh, beautiful garlic. It gives a, another kind of uh, layer of flavor. And if you don't like thyme, you can try different dried herb as well. So every Easter you guys had this on your table? We did. We, we had it nicely can cook this ahead of time a few days. It'll sit in the fridge and kind of get better and better. And then thin slices go on bread. You can cover it with uh, horseradish and... Ooh. Which I also have a video on this channel for. So if you'd like to make some horseradish, homemade horseradish, uh, please browse around. And I'll tell you, homemade horseradish is amazing compared to the store bought. Oh yeah. And that's our loin. We are ready to bake. So I'm just going to put it in a, in my baking dish. And it'll go in the oven until the inside of our, my pork loin reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit, which should take about 50, 55 minutes, depending on the thickness of, of your loin. So let's bake. We've cooked our pork loin for about 55 minutes. I checked it at 45 and needed a few more degrees. So we uh, kept it for 55 and we've cooled a little bit. So we are now ready to taste it. I've prepared a couple of pieces of bread. And what we normally do is put a little bit of butter on our bread. Oops. And this I've noticed isn't what is normally done in America at least not around the people I was. It's normally mayo. Well, yeah. Well, most of the people <clears throat> in the States don't really make this either. Well, but like cold cut sandwiches. Oh yeah, cold cut sandwiches. Yeah. Right. No, but growing up, when I would go deer hunting with grandpa, grandma always made sandwiches with butter. Oh, did she? Mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. Maybe she's a little bit leading my way. Yeah, maybe she's a little bit there. <laughs> And as you can see, uh, our pork loin is beautifully cooked. It's got a little color on it. Our, our spices had cooked on it beautifully. And um, all we gotta do is just slice it right through. So uh, can you eat this hot? Uh, you can. And if you did, obviously after baking, I would make some kind of nice jus or sauce for it. Yeah. Maybe using a uh, chicken or vegetable stock and thicken it a little bit and then pour uh, uh, or like horseradish sauce and Ooh. I do have a recipe for that on my on my uh, website yeah for the turkey and horseradish yeah sauce. that would well, work beautifully but we normally eat it cold and when when is this eaten though or is this so dish? this obviously this is an Easter dish and we would uh, prepare it ahead of time a little bit uh, a day or two and then we would slice it for Sunday uh, breakfast so Easter oh. Easter morning we would have it as part of our cold cuts that you will also find uh, in no, my... no pancakes no pancakes on Easter no <laughs> and it's normally a part of like a cold cut um, plate they would prepare and eat with eggs that we had uh, in our last video the Polish style eggs and uh, biała kielbasa white sausage and ooh. You can go a little bit thicker on the slices too. Cook nice, cooked nicely. That is beautiful. And what I like to do then is put it on my sandwich like this. And then I have uh, horseradish and horseradish with beets. And I like mine with a little bit of horseradish and beets. Put that on top. And I like to make that 
too fresh at home. So it's nice and spicy and it clears your nostrils and everything. Oh man, fresh horseradish, if you've never had it, <laughs> ooh, it's like wasabi. What would you like on your half? Exactly what you just did. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, just maybe horseradish, just horseradish, just horseradish. Yeah. And it's nice and sweet a little bit from the, uh, from the prune on the inside. And I'm give it a... Oh. Give it a look, take a look. Mm -hmm. oh, Cheers. Lips. Cheers. Not with that. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Delicious, huh? That's really good. Yeah. Welcome home. <laughs> Easter is in the air. Yeah. <laughs> and for this and many more recipes, you can uh, head over to this uh, beautiful Posture Kitchen, a book of memories, Easter edition cookbook. I also have a couple more that are out. Uh, or you can head over to PostureKitchen.com and browse all the recipes and my stories and come into my Polish kitchen. And that's it, my friends. And we'll see you next time. Smachnego.